New Year's Eve, 2017. Seven degrees with a windshield. This car cannot be used for recording or yeah. on this. Yeah, what do you think of that? The JVC refuses to talk to that SD. I could probably format it. What's that mean, format? It's the thing where it completely wipes it and sets it up so that it works with the JVC. That's the thing to do. Do you want me to do that? Okay. Definitely. Do you know where this came from? It came from the Canon. And it came that day that you said that you might have confused the JVC. You yeah. Remember, you remember that? Yep. So what my best guess is that this is set up to work with the Canon and that the JVC cannot understand the way that the Canon set up the SD card. Oh. That is my best guess. So. Now, see. if it works with a JVC, will it work with a Canon? It might, it might work JVC to Canon, but it seems as though Canon to JVC does not work. Interesting. Okay, but so you're okay if I format it and sure, completely wipe it? Sure, that's the thing it? to do. Okay. Thank you for knowing how to do that. We uh, often read what happened in uh, December 29, 30, and 31 of 2016. It was very interesting, folks. We were making... Uh, four videos for Pastor Snowness. <laughs> it's a big job. Uh, we were doing a documentary picking up where Gloria, uh, Victoria left off in 2010. Uh, Brooklyn Public Access TV was had a museum exhibit of the history of Public Access TV and Glendor was about the only one around who had any footage of the 1970s. So Glendora was uh, searching the archives to get that footage for them, and that was an extensive job. Uh, we had our sponsor in Chicago uh, dissipated, just fell, fell through. All good. Ready to go. He, he's all good, huh? Mm -hmm. Ready to all go. All good, thanks. What's the story on this one, hon? This? Yeah, where'd, all right, where'd so you put the other DVD? This is the one that That's came it. out of it. Okay, where is the envelope for that, hon? Um, I can put this in this envelope. It, the envelope that this one was in. Yes, this is the one that was originally in that's it. That's good. Took huh? it out and he, put the other one in. That's okay. He's empty. Okay. So, and that one has four times the space that this one has. Uh, how big is that gigabyte? Uh, this one is four. That one's 16. That one's four? This one's four. That one's 16. Yeah. Four? That's nothing. Yeah, it's still, I mean, it's still helpful. But, like, it's still helpful to have backups. But... Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what the story this is. This is that. the adapter oh, it's only for the, the micro adapter. SD. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Huh. Yeah. So this is the so th this is the old 32 one. I'm assuming the 128 is in here still. Okay. Well, will he play in the DV? Will he play in the JVC? I can give it a shot. Again, it might need to be formatted, but. Um, it probably would. How, how'd you know how to do that, Austin? Um, I've been messing around with cameras and camcorders for a long time. Like, it has anything to do with video games? Um, that's usually how you learned everything. Not this stuff. No, this stuff came because I did a lot of video projects uh, when I was in high school. And I, so I had to learn how to edit, and I le had to learn how to use camcorders, and and. Uh, all that kind of stuff. Nice high school. All right. Anyway, so this one does seem to work fine. It does. Yes. And it's a thirty-two. It's a thirty-two. And what's the one you just took out of there? Sixteen. Okay. Let's put the thirty-two in there. So that's the thirty-two gigabyte micro SD in the SD adapter. And mark that one, would you? Here, I'll mm -hmm. give you a pen. Mark what this one is. Yeah, now remember. So I'm going to pop it out again. This is what holds all of the information. This is the thing that has the videos on it. This is just an adapter so that it fits. So this doesn't actually hold any information. This is what holds all of it. I just want to make Wait sure a I... Second. This little, this little. Oh, guy. this little thing there holds uh, all that, 
And the other thing is just an this adapter. This is just a, an adapter so that it's the same size and has the right lineups for the like the, the little connectors, like all the little contact points where the it sends the signal. Well, Austin, you go to such uh, expertise effort to take the JV to take the jokes off of Facebook and put them on DVD for me. Why do I have to do that? Because they're always on an SD. Um, I could. No, that's not right. So the thing that I am most worried about would be how the uh, SD card is structured with how like how the file system works basically you know like how the way that it organizes where on the card it keeps the videos um, in terms of how well the, the cameras would be able to read that that's the thing that I'm concerned we I could I could give it a shot if you want I could try what? it out you know what what was that I could try to see if one of your camcorders could play the videos from your phone I could try it but I, off the bat, I have a, I give it a more of a chance of not working than of working. Okay. Yeah. No. But it could. It could work, but I don't, I'm not sure. No. Okay. So do you want me to keep the 32 in here or the 16? 32. Okay. Um, and so would you mark the envelope accordingly? All right. So I'll switch this one. So let's draw a line through this and write 16 gigabytes? Yes, and so what I have not used is a 16 and a 4. Correct. Is that correct? Correct. A 16 and a 4. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I think it's really important for me to uh, clear up this second sheet of apps and we're going to try folks to do what Austin did before. It was his idea to put them in a folder. The music ones I don't use This is a page I start on. Yeah, so you did the other page. This is the other, this is this okay, one. Okay, and what is browser? Yeah, I, remember that's I, I explained that to you. I could that, go on to YouTube. I could go on to uh, I could go on to browser and say, "Tell me about Northeastern University." Could yes, I? yeah. It's uh, it does the, all the same stuff that Google Chrome does. It's just not built to work as smoothly with Google services. Should we eliminate him? Um, up to you. Put him into the folder? Since if I can, I could do that. Since yeah. we have Google? Yeah. Calculator, I'm pretty sure that's straightforward. Calendar, straightforward. Camera, you already know how to use. Chrome is... Oh yeah, Chrome. Google Chrome is supposed to be better than Google. Google what? Oh, so, okay, okay. so Google Chrome is the program that displays websites for you. It's an internet browser. It allows you to um, display information from websites and like access it and interact with it. Well, that's what this is, is a browser. Browser right? does similar stuff, yes. They, they work a little bit differently, but, yeah. they, but they do the same general thing. So him we have to keep. Yeah. Clean Master, we ah. you know how that works. Tell the folks about Clean Master. Uh, it's an app that automatically cleans out um, like unnecessary space that's uh, taken up by you know just data that's irrelevant um, you know like when you go on websites and stuff your phone will oftentimes uh, save a lot of the information so like onto itself so that next time you go on there it doesn't need to go fetch it from the internet again and it just like is already present and now it's it loads it a little bit quicker and all that but it can all add up and take a real lot of space. So it goes through and clears out a lot of that, and it shuts down apps that you're not using that could still be running. It does that kind of stuff. So he's great for storage. Yeah. It helps keep your storage a little bit more open, and it helps keep your phone from running things that it doesn't need to be running. And Austin says I should use it every day. 
No, I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't say you need to use it every day, but I would say you don't need to use it more than every day. Oh, yeah. Like, once a day is about as much as you would need to do, if you, like, with the way that you use your phone. And, you know, if you, like, if you, if you want to do it every day, that's fine. If you miss a day, it's not really a big deal. You know, you can kind of form your own schedule around it, you know, whenever you want to do it. Clock, um... Yeah, download, so that will just keep track of anything that you download onto your phone. Is that right? Yeah, like pic instance. if you download a picture off the internet, if you download a PDF file or a video from the internet. What's PDF? Um, it's like a document. It's like it's like it's like a very organized way of looking at documents. It's like you know when you get your forms to fill out to send to TV stations, those are usually come in a PDF format. What does PDF stand for? <sighs> Personal, something personal something file. forms. I don't, I don't, re I don't remember exactly. Okay. And this fellow? Google Drive. Oh, he's important. Yes. You went and took all of the information onto the ZTE and put it on Google Drive. Is yes, that so? Yes, correct. Or was that the LG that you took it off of? No, that was the ZTE. Now, what is the value of that? Um, the effort of that was I was attempting to set it up so you could burn those videos to a DVD. Which we did part of that on the HP computer. Um, we haven't finished it no, yet. No, no. You, you came home last time Thanksgiving and you said on your phone and, and on my phone, you said you think it's a good idea to put all the information on ZTE up to Google Drive to preserve it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's because it doesn't have it doesn't. It, eh, sorry, I'm stumbling. Um, it doesn't have an the SD card does not work in it. You know, like we tried plugging the SD card in and something about the phone it's not communicating properly, so it can't save anything to the SD card. So it's all on the phone itself. Um, and how do you retrieve the information on Google Drive? Uh, you go into Google Drive. You need to have Drive set up on whatever device you're using, and it's all going to be just stored there. You do have a 15 gigabyte maximum, unless you buy more space. But like, it, that's okay for now, because that's like double what I mean. That's basically every single thing that could possibly fit on this phone could go on there. Really? Yeah, currently. And how many gigabytes have we filled up? Of Google Drive? Probably like two. Oh, really? Yeah, that's my best guess. I oh, could be a little really? off, but... Yeah, oh, well, really? Yeah. That's rather generous, isn't it? Yeah. So, okay. email is the phone's email app. Um, it's You can link it with any type of email. Uh, while the Gmail app is specifically meant for... Gmail only. You know, if you have Yahoo.com email, if you, well, I don't think you can have AOL.com emails anymore because AOL is, is defunct. But um, AOL is defunct. Is Time yeah, Warner defunct? Time Warner has is not defunct, but it has kind of just been taken over. Basically, it's been absorbed. So it's still a thing, you know. I think Time Warner Cable TV has gone into Spectrum. I don't think that's. I, it. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. Yeah. They they've been absorbed. They had they didn't like go away. AOL basically. How would you? What's an dissolved. example of using this email? Um, I mean it works pretty similarly to the Gmail app. It's just that it's not set up specifically for Gmail. How would I use it? You have Gmail already. I don't think you need it. So it would go into the folder if we can do that. If we can do that, yes. Facebook, you don't need to worry about. Um, file manager. Has a, lot of, has a lot of potential to be very useful, but um, it also has a lot of potential for you to really mess stuff up, mess stuff up on your phone if you don't use it right. <laughs> you know, you might accidentally put all your videos in the wrong folder and then not be able to find them ever again, <laughs> or like that kind of thing. And it's not like they'd be gone, it's just you wouldn't be able to locate them. Um, <laughs> or you could accidentally delete them all, you know, or you could, or you could delete something important. Um, That's a nightmare. So, but... 
when you need to do really fine detail work in like moving around files and making sure they're organized properly like that's how I was able to better organize all your videos on your LG and put them all in one folder rather than having how it split them up into a bunch of different groups. And you saved a lot of storage? Yeah I, I was able to save some storage and I was able to keep them from just like basically sprawling out all over the place and being hard to keep track of. Really? But like that's because I was like I've done that kind of stuff a lot and I know you know, I knew what I was doing. It's not so, like it takes a long time to learn, but it just requires a lot of precision. That's why. And it's hard. For, and it's just like a little too hard for you to see. I think. To oh, I to, can't see anything. To be able to use it. Uh, <laughs> well, that's why it's a file manager. It's managing the files. Exactly. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, bring back up your page because you're currently on the home screen. So we did file manager gallery is pretty, do you need anything about gallery? Yeah, the gallery is where you store your videos for the jokes for Facebook. Is that right? Um, yeah. I mean, that's how you, yeah, that's how you can like look at them and see what they are. And how is it different? Does this uh, ZTE phone have Google Photos? I think it does, yes. And how is the Google Photos and... Uh, gallery differ? Uh, so gallery is only for the, phone. for the phone, everything locally on the phone. Photos can be used to access photos from your Google account. Yeah! That aren't necessarily on this phone, but the way that you use it is primarily the stuff that's on this phone. When we sent 10 photos to the uh, advertiser to use in the articles, did we take them from gallery or did we take them from Google? I don't know. I don't. I, was I there for that? They might have been on your. No, they might you, have been. You were not. It was somebody else. Were they? Were they photos on your computer, on the HP? Yeah. So they probably got attached in an email. Well, they were everywhere. They were on on all the computers. It's these three computers. The f they, yeah, anyway, you took them from the HP, the Hewlett Packard. Yeah. So you had Gmail, you got uh, Google. See the? Do you see where the Google? So you see where Gmail is, right? Next to Gallery. Um, right there, there, Gmail. Yep, that's you already know. Oh, about this that. is Google with a G. So, go, just playing Google, that doesn't. That's like a little bit consolidated. That's just like Google something and look something up. That's not like Google Chrome can be used to go on YouTube. It can be used to you know go on. Was Google Facebook. a predecessor of Google Chrome? Yes. Google was originally just a website. Just a website that you had to g use a different web browser to go to. You used Internet Explorer or Safari oh, yeah. or whatever. Like You don't hear much about Explorer anymore, do you? No, it's because it, uh, it was very widely renowned as the most inefficient <laughs> and clunky of the... Of, of the <laughs> Like Explorers. readily available yeah. internet browsers, yes. So, those what do you call them? Those uh, engines? Didn't they call them engines? Search engines? Yeah, didn't they call them search engines? Yeah. So, search engine is usually a website that you get to using an internet browser. It's like um, uh, you know, like those little viewfinder things, like the like the little where it's like the little who's going like the like the toy where you like put it over your eyes and you press the button and it's got the little disc and all that. <laughs> um, you know, the internet browser would be the actual view, the viewer thing, and then the website would be the little disc you put in it. You know, you could put the same disc in different machines. Should he go into our folder? Uh, yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't really think you need it that much. You don't really Google things. You don't really, like, you know. Google settings. Oh, Google. Settings. That is fairly important because that has to do with your account and how it like interacts with your device. Um, yeah. Do you need anything else about that? Or Google no. Plus is yeah. yeah. What is Google Google's Plus? Google's social media website. Uh, I don't really know much about it because I don't know anyone who uses it. Um, it was kind Lucas. of their attempt to copy and surpass Facebook that kind of didn't really work out. I see. Yeah. I think we can put yeah. him in the folder. Yeah. Because um, Facebook and Twitter is enough social for me. Yeah. 
Hangouts is I know, I know, like I a, know. Yeah, Google it? chatting thing. You don't need that. Maps is out. Yeah, yeah. Can be useful if you need to uh, get direction someplace, or if you're. No, I'm staying right in the happy house. <laughs> and then messaging is text messaging. Yeah. Okay. Which is different than messenger. Messaging oh, that's is messenger. Different? Yeah, different thing. That's different. Different from messenger. Messenger Mess is a Facebook thing. Yes, mess aging. Mess aging. Yeah, is <laughs> uh, the one you know sending SMS messages through the the like with your phone two phone numbers. Well, Messenger is the Facebook one that it may use, uh, you know, your cellular signal, or it may use Wi-Fi, but it's using Facebook to send the message, not your phone number. It's using Facebook. That's the difference between the two. Thank you. And that's that page. So I will see if there's anything I can do to uh, get rid of some of these. Um, he doesn't mean exactly get rid of them. What he does is he puts them in one folder. And then to find them or use them, and we don't think we will, uh, you have to go to that folder. And then they all come up on the screen. So I can disable them, but I don't know where they go when I disable them. Do you want to disable them? The others on the LG, you put them in a folder. Yeah, I think I can, I mean, like, like play music, like, I can disable the stuff that you absolutely know you're never going to use. Oh, I know I won't use it. Like, I can get rid of that, um... Oh, you can enable it. Okay, you can enable it in settings, apps, apps info. So I could I could turn them back on if need be. Um, music, you want to get rid of. Well, that's good. So the apps locations on the pages is going to change, but you can. I'll t I'll help you just like make sure you got everything. Yeah, that's right. I can okay. study them all. So browser, I cannot disable. Good. Are you going to put them in a folder? I don't think I can put anything in a folder. You don't? No, I'm not seeing. Like I can. I the only thing I can do when I hold down and try to move them is either place them on your home screen, which is the one that's customizable, or disable them. Okay. Did you yes, want to? Did you want me to disable calculator or or no? Do you want to hold on to calculator? Hold on to calculator. Okay. This is a ZTE phone, folks. Uh, it was a two hundred dollar phone. It's an Android and it's a straight talk. I bought it at Walmart. And I keep asking Austin, and I keep asking the people at Walmart, should I buy, go up the next step and buy a $300 phone, which would be the Samsung Android Straight Talk Galaxy. Why? Because it takes so long to on the ZTE phone to the jokes on Facebook. It takes so long to post them. It takes so long to YouTube, to do YouTube. It takes Twitter seems to be fast. What do you mean by long? Well, like 15 minutes. And when we first started using Facebook, it was instant. Yeah, the post was instant. But Austin says it's because of in this particular area where we live, the reception is not good. The signal is not strong enough.
a little boy down in Texas was out at the end of his driveway trying to find homes for his puppies. And George Bush went by and he said to the little boy, what kind of puppies are they? And the boy said, they is Republicans. George Bush was elated. He went away so happy. The next week George Bush came back and he says, what kind of puppies did you say those were? And the little boy said, they is Democrats. And George Bush was furious, irate. He says, last week you told me they were Republicans. And the little boy said, this week they's got their eyes open. All right, so. This is what I got. I was able to get rid of eight. You were? Yeah, yeah. Um, some of them I can't, like, I can't get rid of browser. I can't get rid of email. But I was able to get rid of uh, just like a couple of other things, you know. Uh, actually, I could probably get rid of voice dialer. Get rid of what? The, the voice dialer thing that, like, oh, is like a not as good as voice search, you know. Like that. I can also oh, turn don't it back. get rid of voice dialer. Oh, no, no. Voice search is the one that you always use. Voice oh. dialer was that one that was like, whenever we were like saying anything, it would just think that you were trying to call a random number. <laughs> um, so how's don't that Don't get one? rid of voice dialer. Okay, I can put it back. Um, in, in case of voice search, anything happens. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good point. Okay. So, and on the bottom, I took out the messaging thing. So all you got on the bottom of the screen are your app directory your really? phone and your voice search. You see that? Really? The, do you do you, do you like it that way? I love it. Okay, good. That's what I, that's what I figured because you don't really use messaging. Thank you for trying and succeeding. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, let me put back um, voice dialer. Yeah, let me put back voice dialer and then we'll be good. Is he back? Uh, give me one moment. I should be good in a minute. Uh -huh. This is our father's world. Oh, let me ne'er forget that though the wrong seems off so strong, God is the ruler yet. Okay. He trusts us with his world to keep it clean and fair. All rocks, all trees, all skies, all seas, all creatures everywhere. Right, so voice dialer is back in action. Ah, good. Yeah, Listen, good. thank you for doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I feel like that should help keep things uh, together a little bit better. Um, yeah, you should be good. Uh, yeah, there you go. I am grateful. Yeah, no problem. You know, I mean, it's. You know, I mean, I'm, yeah, I don't... keep him on the white. Remember, I can't see him on the blue. Uh, All right. These are the categories you will need, mm -hmm. and this will give you an idea how big your columns have to be to hold them. Okay. And so you're. So it takes. So you're getting three a bunch or four of paper. Pages now. Why don't you take the paper from the Epson? Do you want it to be white or yellow? It doesn't matter. Okay. And uh, get your ruler, your straight edge, and copy these categories. What we're going to do is every day we put on the daily sheet the date, uh, the amount spent, and add it to the amount spent cum, and then tell what it was for, like groceries, uh, like uh, DVD, uh, DVD minus R. This, uh, office supplies, gasoline, and then at the end of the month, we take every item that was on the day sheet and put it in the proper classification on the month sheet. Therefore, we end up knowing how much we spent for groceries in December, how much we spent for 
uh, technical equipment, how much we spent for non-employee compensation, how much we spent for office supplies. The first category is the total in. I believe the total in is. Uh, Wait a minute! I gotta put my headings on. What'd you say, dear? I gotta put on my uh, my heading labels. You know. Yeah. If you want to tell the folks what the headings are. Um. Now Franklin got a raise in his Social Security, a two percent cost of living raise. Did you get that? And his went from uh, about six. 15 to 16 61 and then nice you get $50 a month raise hey, so is this gonna be page 235 no uh, your page is going to be 241 what happened to the other pages in the middle they're in the no. oh the dailies are right? yeah in the day I got gotcha, you I got gotcha. you okay. so 241 Two, four, one. Okay. Cool. We're going to make a second one. So the total in each month is something like uh, 2,500. And Warren Buffett sends him a check every month. Franklin was a reporter for 27 years on the Buffalo Evening News, which Warren Buffett bought. Okay. I got two pages, so... I think you will do it. Yeah, yeah, you barely went on to... I know I have three pages. And went very, very slightly into a fourth, but I think I might be able to do okay. So, we, let's see, four columns, it looks like. Right? If you want, or would you like two, two columns, or three columns? I kind of like the four column. It looks like it is... Uh... And the reason Warren Buffett bought the Buffalo Leading News was instantly he could put the Courier Express, the morning newspaper, out of business and have a monopoly. All of the advertising, therefore, would go to the Buffalo Evening News. Warren Buffett, he found that secret to Wall Street. Here he was, just a small town boy. I think his dad was a stockbroker in Omaha, Nebraska. And he found the secret. And I know my brother was looking for that. That's what he wanted. And it eluded him. Now, we put the expenses from the day sheet to the month sheet, right? And then we add up the columns in the month sheet, how much was spent for groceries. And then we go over to the year sheet, and it says... December, and then it says groceries, and you put in that amount. And then it says clothing, and you put in that amount. You add those up at the end of the year, from January to December, 2017. And you have how much you spend each year for each category. Is that all? No. So, do you want me to, how do you want me to organize it? Like that. Similarly to that? Okay. Yeah, like So I'll, I'll have the, the tw is it still 2519 is the start? Or yes. No? Okay. Then comes the clincher. So how's that for, is that okay for reading? Can you read that? Well, I won't be able to read it, so I won't be able you to sure? read it. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, so uh, it's still don't. making it solidly big, yeah. but I'm trying to keep it neat, and I'm trying to do it, like, not so big that I can't write 
Yeah. Because like no I'm fit. using a, so this is the one that you write with most of the time, but this is too thick for me. I can't really sure. write with this. And no, I know somebody that, else will have to read it. I know that these ones are too thin, so I figured this one is in the middle, and that's probably a good happy medium between <laughs> okay. the two. Because like You're I can't, about I sharpies. can't. Yeah, I just can't really write with this thing because the tip is too thick. Okay, like, there's other pens in the top. Well, I mean, this one should work. I mean, that way, if you really, really, really have to look at it, you might be able to figure out what it says. Uh, I think those days are over, huh? Yeah, me, I, I, yeah, I think somebody else. That's why I said to read might. It. <laughs> so I anyway. tell, I'm telling you about the clincher. After you do the year sheet, you go to the lifetime sheet. Since 1937. Okay. And then you have everything that was spent for rent since 1937. Okay, for gasoline, for haircuts. For newspapers, for lunches, for bus, taxi. Why do it? I don't know why do it, but it's something that my conscience says to do. And you hadn't better. Ignore that. If your conscience tells you to do something, you'd better do it. I mean, it's good for balancing a budget, because that means you can go back and look at the lifetime one, no, like maybe not as much, but for the yearly one and the monthly ones, you can look at how much you've spent on everything each month, and you can like look at it by month, at least in the yearly one, and you can tell like, oh, I've been spending way too much money on clothes, or like, or you know, like that kind of thing, and, like, and you can really use it to help cut down on unnecessary spending, or to, or to see maybe why you have excess or a lack of money at the end of the month. Like, it's not a bad idea. You know? it's, it's, just a, it's just another part, your personal way of doing your personal finances. All right. Okay, I've got... Posted... We, have, we started a new thing. I'm trying to look how to eliminate things. Can I eliminate laying the foundation of the day physically? I don't think so. Can I eliminate laying the foundation of the day spiritually? You know, thinking and listening and communing and what you call morning devotion? No. Can I eliminate sitting with dot com while she eats? She doesn't like to eat alone. She likes to have me sit with her. Can I eliminate exercising the body? No. I've been exercising my body ever since I was in high school. And you know what they call that today? Physical therapy. I've been doing it out of instinct all these years. And nowadays, a doctor has to tell you to do physical therapy. He has to assign a physical therapist to you. An insurance company has to pay it. When you can stay home and do your own physical therapy, just keep your body exercised. It is very important to just keep doing stuff. Like, um, you know, you don't need to be running 400 miles a week, which, well, that's pretty much impossible. But, <laughs> but I mean, you don't need to be running a real lot every week. You don't need to be lifting really big weights. You just need to be doing something. Like, you, because the way that your body works is that you, it allocates resources to maintaining and improving things that you do and that you work with and that you use regularly. Um, is and, that how it works? Yeah, it's in, both in the brain and physiologically. And if you aren't using something, it figures that it's probably not important and doesn't allocate any resources to maintaining it. Really? Yeah, no, I'm serious. Like, uh, like your brain works that way. There's this, um, that's why you, like, that's why... When you're learning a new skill or practicing a skill, you're supposed to do it as often. Like, it's better to do it for 15 minutes every day uh, a week than for four hours all at once. Sure. You know, like you know, like all that kind of stuff. Sure, that doesn't make sense. Well, you used your body an hour ago going out there and feeding the animals, right? At seven degrees, you yeah. used your body then, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Um, he fed them for yesterday, Saturday, today, Sunday, New Year's Eve, and tomorrow, New Year's Day. By the way, that's not the New Year. I'm going to tell you again. The New Year is on December 20th. That's New Year's Eve. 
when the Earth finishes its trip around the Sun. That's New Year's Eve at midnight. And then the Earth starts its trip around the Sun for the New Year. That is the New Year. How did that get started? Uh, it probably had to do with like the Gregorian calendar or something. Yeah. Um, you okay. know, like there was that point in time where the calendar was like not accurate to an actual year. It wasn't. And then they were there was like after a long enough time, like, uh, like there were cities that were like weeks off of each other. Like, <laughs> you know. Well, the Romans stopped. You know, the Romans they were so far off. They stopped a whole week or something. Yeah, yeah. That, that's how they. I think how they caught up or something along those no, lines. No, and then the Gregorian improved upon that, and they had to add a few things to make it come out to three hundred and sixty-five and a half days. And then, yeah, then the uh, the leap years are to make yeah, up. Yeah, then they, they had the leap years. So that's it. This is really a an inaccurate New Year's Eve. Yeah, there must be some sort of historical social significance as to why we changed the year in January as opposed to on this winter solstice. Historical yeah. or hysterical. Now, another possible way that would also be accurate of breaking down year would be on the summer solstice, because that's winter in the southern hemisphere, you know. Um, it's also when the Earth is farthest away from the sun. It's when, when is the Earth farthest away from the sun? During our summer solstice. It's so it's like it's you know it's like an oval. Yeah, it's an ellipse. And it, yeah, and the Earth is like not in the direct middle. It's no, like it's a little. One, it's one of the exactly. Uh, Our summer solstice is uh, when it's at the farthest away point, but it's pointing at the sun, so that's why it like you know it's um, summer, and then at its and then at its other end at the. Um, our winter solstice is when it's like at the other tip. It's not as far away from the sun at that point in time. But that could be another. So I mean, those are the two points that would probably you could start the year on. But most people live in the northern hemisphere, so I mean, it makes sense that it would be. Oh. Yeah. You know, winter, <laughs> you know. They have the hegemony. I am registering is my father's world. He shines in all that's fair. In receipt is I before E, right? What's that? Re in the word receipt, it's I, I is before E because it's after C, right? It's E before I. In receipt? R-E-C-E-I. It's E-I. It's E before I. That's in receipt. I before E. Oh, except that, yep. Yeah. I before E, except, except after C. Oh, goodness. All right. Um, Through the rustling grass I hear him pass. He speaks to me everywhere. This is my father's world. Why should our hearts be sad? The Lord is king, let the heavens reign. God reigns, let the earth be glad. This is my father's world, and to my listening ears, all nature sings and around us rings. The music of the spheres. This is our father's world. I rest me in the thought. All rocks, all trees, the skies, the seas. His hands, the wonders brought. Are you coming? Are you ready? I am pretty close. Hold He's on. making his columns, and when he does that, I'm going to say to him, Rent business, 300. Rent personal, 100. Things like that. Yeah, I'm pretty close. I just, uh, 
I do need to make the third page. I kind of thought I could fit them all on one, but I kind of realized as I was going on, on two, but I, I realized that I was not correct. I think the best joke, one of the best jokes that came out of 2017. By the way, uh, we made 6,000 telephone calls in the year 2017. Those are out calls. It does not call, count the in calls. And the in calls would be about five a day times 300 would be 1,500. How many a day? Uh, five a day. Times 365? Yeah. It would be what? About, that would uh, be 1,600? Like 1,800. 1,800? It's five times 300 would be 15, then five times 60 would be 18, then that other five times five would be 25, so it's going to be 1825. <laughs> Calculator. Yeah. I, I've <laughs> always had a relatively <laughs> easy time with. Yeah, his mother taught him. Up to mid level mentally. arithmetic before he went to uh, school, even. His mother was a fifth grade teacher. Oh, yeah. Well, she taught me how to do the lattice method of multiplication uh, <laughs> when I, before I went to kindergarten. And I would just like, whenever we went to restaurants, I would just <laughs> take the placemat and flip it over and make as big of a lattice as I possibly could. And just like, and, and do just pick random numbers and multiply them together. I like I very explicitly remember doing that at the uh, do you know the Plaza Diner in yeah. in uh, Greenport? Yeah. We went there a lot because my grandma's house was right around the corner. Like we would walk there, um, and I just remember yeah like sitting there <laughs> like everyone else is talking and me just like plugging away at these obscenely <laughs> uselessly large numbers, just trying to calculate the answer. And we made 400 TV shows. Did I tell you that often? 400 in the year 2017. That's a lot of shows. That's more than one a day. Yes, easily. With what? The very important message that when all is said and done, all that really mattered is how did you treat others. How did you help others? And others includes animals. That was the message of the year. We did Glendora Care and Share. We did Glendora Soul to Soul. We did Glendora Gregory Pass It On. I wanted you to read to the people what was in the Compassion magazine. I don't think we'll have time. Yeah, we might have time on Wednesday. Compassion over killing. And then... That started out as a high school after school project. A boy started out this kindness to animals club. And it grew right. into compassion. It was called Compassion Over Killing. I I am ready to go. You are ready. Okay. Yeah, sorry, it took so long. All right. Rent business three hundred. Rent personal one hundred. Mhm. Mm Rent museum fifty. Receipted five. Alrighty. Donation receipted five again. Yeah. Non employee compensation fifty. Mm hmm. Uh, Advertiser. Medora VC. And how much is it? Twelve. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, what would that be? Uh, that would be just a minute. A gift. Yeah, all right. 
Right. It's for the Vegetarian Club, the Glendora Vegetarian Club. Office supplies, 13. Gasoline, 20. Gas, Greg, or just normal gas? No, nope, just gasoline, 20. Uh, non employee comp, for, uh, 50. Uh, non employee comp again, 20. Mm -hmm. Non employee comp again, 20. Non employee comp again, 20. Mercy for animals. Uh, donation receipted, 50. Holbrook. Holbrook. Just a minute. That would be technical equipment, 20. Mm-hmm. I can tell it says That would be uh, donations receipted, 50. Donation receipted five. Donation receipted five again. Donation receipted five again. Mm -hmm. Grocery sixty two. Donation receipted five. Donation receipted again five. Donation receipted again five. Donation receipted again five. Dona mm -hmm. Donation receipted again five. Gasoline forty two. Mm -hmm. Greg pay work. So is that fifty NEC? Yeah, that would be non employee comp. It's for fifty. All righty. Uh, 87. Uh, groceries, 87. This is going pretty fast. One two, oh, 128 gig SD card. So oh, it's 54 okay. Technical tech equipment, equipment, right? Okay. Technical equipment, 58. Wait, 50, or is that a four? Oh, Let's okay. Go. Let's go All right. Thank you for that. Yeah, sure. Uh, Staples, pens, 99. Uh, office supplies, 99. Wow. Uh, MNN. Oh, uh, that would be a donation receipted, $30. They wrote us a nice letter, Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Uh, Strange. S T. Strand. Straight talk. Android. Straight talk. Android. There we go. Great. Uh, technical. Uh, no telephone. Sixty-seven. Is that sixty-seven or sixty-one? Like One. I think. Non-employee compensation. Fifty. Groceries. Twenty-seven. Clothing, twenty-one. Gift, twenty-seven. Uh, money order fees. Postage, twelve. Gasoline, twelve. Non-employee comp, fifty. Non-employee comp again, 50. Mm -hmm. Donation receipted, 5. Uh, grocery, 72. Donation receipted, 5. Donation receipted, 5-0.
national grid is 138, right? Okay, now so it split that into, into threes. Okay, let's see that. What does that split into threes? Uh, that's 40. 120 would be 46. So that's 46, yeah. 246 is how much? 92. So okay. 92 business. 92 business and 146 personal for electric. Okay, 96 business electric, 46 personal electric. Okay, wait, no, wait. no 90, 92 and 46. Yeah, excuse me, 92. Cool. All right, those are good. Uh, technical equipment, 20. Okay. Donation re uh, receded, 5. Donation receded again, 5. Mm -hmm. Donation receded again five. Donation receded again five. Non-employee compensation fifty. Mm -hmm. uh, postage ten. We're up to the twentieth of September. Uh, technical equipment eight. Mm -hmm. Suzanne McCormick. Is that a gift? Oh, that's a gift. Five hundred dollars. Boy, I don't know. Yep. She called yesterday and she was so happy and enabled her to get her car inspected, registered, and on the road. Wow, that's a lot. That's helpful. Uh what is this for, dear? Greg Truck Cap. Do you have a file there, Museum Future? Greg Museum? Yeah. Okay. Five, Greg Museum. And then Greg Electric. Yes. Is also a five? Yes. Greg Museum? Yep. Okay. Bob Storage. Bob Storage. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Sam? That's his brother, but okay. Uh, yeah. So, Greg Museum, another yeah, five? Yeah, uh, five, that's right. Okay. Uh, non employee compensation, 50. Uh, Greg Oil Truck, that would be. Yeah, that's, uh, that comes under. Gas, Greg. Yes, that's exactly where it comes. Thank you. Eighteen. Uh, nine dollars donation, unreceived a gift. Nine dollars gift. Walmart office supplies. Uh, fifty-two office supplies. Oh, that's at ninety-two. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's thirty-two. Thirty-two. We both. <laughs> uh, thirty-two. Walmart uh, electronics. Twelve. Uh, technical equipment. Twelve. Walmart houseware. Household. Thirteen. Ooh, is there a household? There, there is. Thank goodness. Okay. Walmart groceries. That's going to be forty. 40. Greg Gas Cumberland Farms. That's yeah. Thirty-eight. Wait. Thirty-eight. Uh, it goes under gas, right? Okay. Yeah. Greg Gas. Thirty-eight. Well, it's just gas, isn't it? Oh no, it's for Greg specifically. Oh. No, that has to go under gas, honey. Okay. You want it white out? Um, I'll do it at the end. I'm gonna put a line through it, and then I'll white it out if I have to write anything else under there. Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, that was technical equipment because I went there to use their free Wi-Fi and I bought stuff to make them feel better. Okay, so that's 14. Okay. Yep. Two ATM fee Walmart. Technical equipment. Two. Okay. No, that is not technical equipment. That's banking. That's a fee. Uh, one that goes under business one time only. Business one time only too. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, gift five. One sec, just getting some white outing done. Okay. That's office supplies. So, gift is how much is the gift for? Five. Okay. Five once. Yeah. Five twice. Mm-hmm. Five three times. Yep. Five four times. Yeah. Uh, five groceries. Okay. Five. Sunny. Crackers? Yeah, groceries. So an additional 500 groceries? Yeah. Okay. I.com. Have you even got to the money we spent for you? We only spent $88 on you last month.com. Plus your yeast. Groceries five. Mm -hmm. Groceries thirty three. Groceries thirty three. Thank you. Uh, Sandy crackers. Uh, groceries ten. Pat yeast. Uh, gift five. There's a gift that goes in there. Uh, this is dot com. Now this goes under gift. With a D next to it, right? Yeah. Thanks, and it's ten dollars under gift. Wait, so, what were you saying about that five? Is there an additional five? Five is a I... gift. Okay. Yeah. So, a gift of five. Yeah. And a gift of ten with a D next. Yeah, to it. this five doesn't show. Up. Uh, groceries fifteen. Ten. Is that ten? Um, fifteen. Yeah. No, you know, I already did that. That's so. That's ten for the crackers, five for the gift, ten for the cat gift. Oh yes, yeah. thank you. Fifty for farm again. Yeah, that's donation receipted. Uh, five donation receipted. Mm -hmm. uh, Thirty to Mary Lawrence. That is. That was by check. Now, is that a donation receipted? No. She's not a 5013C. That would be a gift. Of 30, okay. Uh, 16. Groceries, and then additional 5 groceries. Uh, 6O, non employee compensation. 5O, non employee compensation. Mm hmm. Dot com seventh day is uh, 105. Yeah. That's 105. Gift D. with a D next to it. 105 we spent on you.com. 115 it includes. It was 88 in November. We are on the last page. HPA TV. What's that? PA TV. HPA TV. Heart for Public Access. That would be. T they are five. That would be. I'll put that under technical equipment. Tech equipment is... 20. Okay. 50 North American vegetarians. Yeah, donation receipted. Uh, Non-employee compensation 5-0. Non-employee compensation 5-0, again. Why are there two? Uh, they were different days. They were? Yeah. Are they consecutive? Uh, Greg worked 1228, the other one's Greg worked 1229. Okay. Did you get that wait, one? Um, employee comp? Wait, did I have... You have 60 written there for me? No, 50. No, that's that says 60, 60 but... 60, it, 60, we've already done. Okay, hang on, we go back one page and see if yep, this is... Yep, 60's right here, honey. 60. So that says 60, but it was 50. 
Like, no, no, my, so my first day was 60, then I had 50, then I had 40. So this is, so you told me the right number, but the number on that is wrong, though. I just want to make sure that you're aware of that. I'll correct it. On that? Yeah, yeah, sure. This, I got it right. I don't know how you figured that. I remember giving you 60. I mean, I remember how much, so, or wait. I remember giving you 60. You gave me 50. 60 the first day, then the second day I got paid 50, so you gave me 110 and I gave you the 60 back. Remember? Yeah. I mean, but yeah. that doesn't change those figures. So you, you the first paid. 60 was correct. The second 60 was supposed to be a 50. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not so anyway, once that dries... Oh, you say I put 60 there instead You put of 60, 60 instead of... Oh, yeah, thank you. And then you. you put 50 instead of 40 for my other one. Actually, was that... Was that 50? Oh, I can just look at my little cards. Okay, yeah, and that... So the, the third one was 50. Okay. So 60, 50, 50. All right, cool. Um, That's the way I remember it. Cool. So, back to you. Once that dries, I'll put a 5 in there. Anyway, we're down to Greg's second one. Wait, wait, so you had my 60. And Greg a third one? Hang on, sorry. Let me, let me see real quick. I apologize. It's 60, Austin. Greg, 50. Uh-uh. Then we had me and Greg for the 28th. That's two 50s. And then both of us for the 29th is two more 50s. Okay. okay. Cool. But All right. But it's I and Greg. Greg, me. Greg and I? Yes, Greg and I. Okay, this is good. Now, where are we? Um, 20 gas. 20 Greg gas. So is that normal gas? Yes. Okay. And last but not least is the bird seed. Uh, that would be a gift. Whee! All right. I will start doing the math for these. Now, really? we'll, we'll keep that keep that one page out to dry because it's got white out on it. It's fine. It's, it's doing okay. So just keep that one out. I'll put a five in there in a minute or two, and then we'll be good. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to start to do math. You're going to give to give me a couple minutes. Let's see. That's the first step. Second, first step. Second step is add up the columns, and that's what he's doing. Without a calculator. I might whip one out at some point. Don't, don't have that much faith in me yet. <laughs> okay, put your five in. Yeah, sure. Honey, if you lie on the finance book, we can't finish it. So I have to get you something to eat. Oh, I know what. Vegan turkey. You want a piece of vegan turkey? Okay. I'll go do that right now. And I'll sit with you while you eat it. I have to wash my hands first. Wash your hands, your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Often. Okay. I 
and you look at the turnip. This is the turnip that we brought home to eat for Thanksgiving. And we put it on the window as we're waiting for Thanksgiving. And on morning I looked at it and here are two sprouts. This turnip wants to live. So we bought him a pot and we bought him potting soil, which is not dirt cheap. And look at him today. This is the only way I can get her off of the books, folks. But she's hungry. Yeah. All right. It's her supper time. Is most of it. You got the red marker around here? Yeah, the red marks in the bottom drawer. There. I just like to... Uh, bottom drawer. Oh, I took it out. I like to circle my final numbers. That's a good idea. And when she gets off the books, I can give you the month sheet. You've done them all already? Yeah. I mean, I only had to add up like one, two, three, four. Well, that's five, phenomenal. Six, seven, eight. I only had to add up like nine columns, like it was, and like like six of them were only had like four or five things max. In them. Over here, baby. So you get off the books, please. You're a bookkeeper. Here she comes, Austin. It's working. All right, so tech equipment is business. Um, when you enter them, you can tell folks what the totals are for the month. So tech equipment is 148. Well, um, wait, honey, you're going to enter them in the month anyhow. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, I have, I'm doing the total for the month. At yeah, that's what I uh, say. You're no. going to get the month sheet and you're going to enter them. Then you can tell them what Oh, they okay, are. all right. Otherwise, okay.com, here's your yeast on it. She won't budge until you put the yeast on it. Telephone goes in business, right? What did you say? Telephone goes in business, right? Telephone what? Telephone is considered a business expense, right? Yes. Okay. As are donations receipted? Oh, no. Donations received are certainly business. Okay.
gift is personal, right? Oh, yes. What about, did you spend anything on laundry? Oh, yes. Twenty-six. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for doing that, Austin. Mm -hmm. All right, I am going to do total business and total personal. Total business and total personal. I'm going to do those on the calculator because yes. those are bigger numbers and I it would take a lot longer. <laughs> okay. This is for the month of November. So we'll keep that one out. No, we'll file that one away to go to the museum. Greg has kept the 1980 Lincoln and the 1993 Lincoln running. They run beautifully. Even when it was 8 degrees, they started up on the first crank. And one of them is outdoors all the time. The newer of the two, the 1993, the younger one. And the 1980 is in the uh, garage. We have two and a half months of winter, folks. Two and a half months of snow and ice and cold. Do you notice how much later the sun sets? What's well, already a half an hour? The days are already a, daylight is already a half an hour longer. So I was going to tell you what I think was a, one of the best jokes that came out in nineteen in 2017. The teacher said, Johnny, I think you cheated on the test. I think you copied the answers of the girl sitting across the aisle from you. The first question was, who was the first president of the United States? She wrote Washington and you wrote Washington. The second question was, who was the president of the United States during the Civil War? She wrote Lincoln and you wrote Lincoln. The third question was, who was the President of the United States during the Louisiana Purchase? She wrote, I don't know, and you wrote, me neither. All right, I am just about ready. The doctor said, take one of these pills and walk a mile a day, and at the end of the month, you call me. At the end of the month, the patient calls and says, hey, doc, what do I do now? I'm out of pills and 30 miles from home. Okay. 
So do you want me to do that? Yes. Can you read it to the folks? Yeah, sure. Um, Did you enter them? Hang on, let me just set up the formatting so I can do all of that at once. So you can like tell a couple more jokes or something. Well, tell more jokes? Okay. Yeah, I mean, well, you don't have to. It's your show. You do what you the want. doctor says, there's <laughs> nothing I can do for your disease. It's hereditary. And the patient says, gee, doc, would you please send the bill to my dad? There was a collision of two cars. And a third car pulled up, and a man got out of the third car, and he said, I saw the whole thing happen. I'm a lawyer. I'll take either side. If a lawyer knows the law, he pounds the law. If a lawyer knows the facts, he pounds the facts. If he doesn't know any, if he doesn't know either, he pounds the table. The lawyer says, I want a new trial on the basis of new evidence. The judge says, what's the new evidence? The lawyer says, I just found out my client has another $10,000. Let's see. A teacher was being interviewed by a, a reporter. And she was asked, what do you like best about being a teacher? And she said, motivating the youth, developing young minds, strengthening Americans. And they asked the second teacher, what are the three things you like best about being a teacher? And she said, June, July, and August. Teacher. What's the plural of goose? Geese. Good. What's the plural of mouse? Mice. Wonderful. What's the plural of baby? Twins. The wife and the husband are out having dinner. No, breakfast. They were out having breakfast. That was it. And she said, this donut is so strong it could walk over and say hello to the coffee. And the husband says, but the coffee's too weak to answer. All right, uh, you want me to go? Yes, I do. All right, so tech equipment. Please. So this is for the month of December 2017. Tech equipment was 148. Now, would you put that into your... Oh yeah, I'm already, I've already started writing them. I'll oh, okay, go ahead. Um, office, wait, sorry, NEC was 770. Non-employee compensation. Office supplies is 144. How much was NEC? 770. 770? Yes. All right. Uh, let's see. Postage was 22. Not too Really? Uh, telephone was... Sixty-one. How much? Six one. Uh, gasoline is one three two. Cars was zero. How much? Zero. Zero. Yes. One time only business was two. Uh, let's see. Where, where will I end up putting gas, Greg? In somewhere at the end, or? Gas, Greg? Yeah. How much is it? 18. 18? Yeah. Put it under NEC. NEC, okay. Oh, okay. Put it under Museum Future. That okay. Will, well, will... like, I mean, this is, like, it's, it's good for here, but I just need to know where to put it. No, that... On this chart. A museum uh, future. Put it on a museum future. Is that different than normal museum? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, I'll just tackle that one once I get through all of the normal ones. Um, office rent is 300 Medical is zero. Uh, 
Dental is also a zero. Donations receipted is three, six, five. Down to a zero? Yes. Uh, electric business, 92. How much was medical? Zero. I mean, your collective medical for the whole year is under a hundred dollars. <laughs> That's for band aids. Let's see, uh, we got twenty one. We and got back tracing. Well, a little over a hundred. It's about a hundred and nine, hundred and eight. <laughs> That's the whole year. Okay. Uh, electric business. Uh, where, are, where are we? I right, ninety two. Museum. And Medicare wanted me to pay a fine, and they wanted me to buy Part B. And I said to myself, I will trust my body's health. So for the whole year, it cost 109. Eighty-nine years old, no doctors and no medicine. Just doctors' jokes. So, uh, print was zero, total rent was 400. You notice the print was zero since we started cutting out co color copies? Yeah, yeah. Um, Epson. Out business was 1819. One moment, please. I could, I may have a piece of paper. I want that figure, please. Thanks. Out business was one thousand eight hundred and nineteen. One eight one nine. Thank you. And then out personal was thirteen ten one three one zero. Total out was three thousand one hundred twenty nine. Yep, yeah, you got it. Three one two nine. Three one two nine we spent. Three thousand one hundred and twenty nine dollars we spent in the month of December. Yes. Groceries was three five seven. Three five seven for groceries? Yes. Laundry was twenty six. Household. How do these compare with your expenditures? 13. Uh, electric personal was 46. Clothes was 21. Uh, rent personal was 100. Haba, zero. Haba, health and beauty aids. Gifts was 747. 747. With 115 being dot com. Thanks. Uh, OTO personal was zero. One time only personal. Yes. And over was um, negative 610. Minus 610. Yes, yeah, so you went, you spent 610 too much. Yes. yes. Not bad. Would you tell me again donations receipted? Uh, three, six, five. Three, six, five. Yep, three hundred and sixty-five dollars. So if you add donations receipted and gifts, is that what you get? Eleven hundred and twelve dollars. One thousand one hundred and twelve dollars. Yep. Now is that? Oh wait, no. It's a yes. Sorry, you are correct. You are correct. Yes. And the total in was twenty five nineteen. Yes. So that's better than tithe, isn't it? It's fifty percent, isn't it? No. Uh, it's a, it's a it's like let's see eleven twenty five. Um. Hmm. It's like forty-five percent, approximately. That's not exact, but. Um, Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. New Year's Eve, wrong New Year's. So yeah, and the last thing was, what do you want me to do with the future museum? 
Oh, never mind. You got it. You got it over here on the side. I found I found the column. So those will go together, and that will be a total of 33. A total out is 31. 29, honey. Correct. With, yes, 16. Okay. Now, we move that to... Carry over, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, each pop. Is that gonna be oh the same? yeah. What was it last month? Oh, and seven. Yes, oh, and seven for December. Words. That's highest perfect rep, one pure thought, happy, cheerful, humorous, full of love for everybody. The second one? Is words, oh and four last month. Yes. That's our vocabulary that we work so hard on. The word we, we memorized today was uh, arduous, steep, uh, an upward climb, strenuous, difficult. This bookkeeping is arduous, don't you think? No? It can be. Yeah. I mean, it's not awful, but... And you know, Austin and I would do that. We would brush up our vocabulary every day or so. And it showed up on the graduate record exam, didn't it, Austin? Vocabulary. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, multiple words that I learned, uh, like, just from you talking about them or you to using them in ca casual conversation did appear on test yeah that was that was pretty funny i was i was taking it and i just laughed i forget what word it was specifically but like there were a couple of them that i explicitly remembered like you being the one talking about great yeah, oh it was, words it was pretty are very, funny. Yeah. very good stimulus okay stimuli uh, who's next honey museum oh museum what was it you had 40 and 59 no add to that uh the museum future all right, so wait, which one of those is hours and dollars? Oh, wait, yeah, the hours. Are I think you might digits. have gotten mixed up in here because, like, for Maybe, medical, yeah. you have 10 and, like, wait, did you spend $10 on medical last So month? how can you straighten it out, huh? I'm not sure. Like, laundry was, oh, no, laundry looks right. Never mind. I think I, think I was just. Okay. What can we do to straighten that up? Oh, I think, no, I think that. Most of them were right. I think it's just the first two were mixed. If you up. want a label to cover it up and start over again, you can get a label in the drawer. Oh no! Like I can, like I'm mostly gonna be okay. I think just words and the the first one were mixed up. Because I okay. think museum you had fifty nine, forty no. and fifty nine. So it's forty hours and fifty nine. Well, that's right. Yeah. So uh, these ones you had zero and seven. So that's zero hours, the, seven dollars. Yeah. In so. December he finished the museum. So I don't think we spent about your hour over there, right? And I would say three hours museum. Okay. And how many dollars? Fifty dollars? Plus the oh, museum future. Plus 30, so that's eighty three. See, we paid Gregory in advance to take care of the museum after Glennie goes to heaven. Frankie and I paid Gregory. Franklin and I paid Gregory. How much? Couple, couple grand. Oh no, I meant for the on uh, today this month. Oh, I don't know. Museum future. How much is that? Eighty three. Yeah. So thirty three of it was for for that. Um, internet last month you had sixteen and twenty. Did you pay someone last month? No, it's the cost of the internet. Uh, you know why we spent. Over at Dunkin' Donuts, didn't we spend six? Oh yeah. Okay, I forgot about that. All right. Was and there then any the hours on the internet would be? I would add three hours over last month. So it's nineteen hours and uh, twenty-two. How many dollars? Oh, no, I mean no. It's, it was sixteen. Now it's yeah, nineteen. Yeah, sixteen. And your how much did you spend again? Fourteen dollars, right? At Dunkin'. Yeah. Okay. No, sixteen at Dunkin'. 
Are you sure? No, no, it was 14, I remember. Because it was, uh, you put, had me put it under type of equipment. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, medical is 10 and 10 hours, zero dollars was last zero, month. Zero hours and ten dollars. Right? Zero hours and ten dollars, right? Um, you have ten an hour in here. Okay. I mean, just, what do you think for this month? What would you spend for medical this month? Zero. So is it just double out? Okay, hour? so it's zero, zero. Okay, cool. Laundry, you had eight and twenty-five. How many hours is that? How many hours was it last month? Eight. Yep. And then it was twenty-six dollars this month. Yep. Uh, church. Zero zero. Groceries was how many hours, and I got dollars taken care of. The sixteen hours. Sixteen hours for mm -hmm. groceries. Okay. Wow. And three hundred what? Fifty-seven. Dot com. How many hours you got? How many last month? You had four. Th wait for. For dot com? Mm-hmm. Ten hours. Yep. Same. And then you're $115. Yes. Uh, purple. That would be the household. Uh, that would be two hours, zero dollars. Okay. Sebastian is double O. Cheerful look at life. What's that one? What was it last month? Nine hours, zero dollars. Yes. Same? Okay. Tyler That's last jokes. month was four hours zero dollars. Who? What? Last month Tyler was four hours zero dollars. Oh. Title. This month it was six hours zero dollars. Okay. And then Amadeus is double O. What about YouTube? What was it last month? Sixteen and O. Okay. Twenty and zero. All right. That's a problem, how much YouTube is taken. Cool. That's good to go. Good enough for government work? Good enough. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now this is hours and dollars. Okay, so uh, let's do hours and dollars and then check our list. Oh, okay. Because I do need to leave pretty soon. Okay. And I feel like like then we could, like that way we'd be done with month and then we could do year on Wednesday. Oh, uh, we could do what on Wednesday? We could do year on Wednesday. Do what on Wednesday? Year, like adding stuff up for the year. Oh, all yeah, right. But that way we'd be done with month sure. so it's finished. Yeah. All right. This is the last thing for month, right? Uh, hours and dollars? Well, is there no, we have to pack up the receipts and pack up the file, but I'll give them to you right now. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, 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 the number of hours, what, how many hours were there last month spent on a chat with Gondor? Um, 200. 250 this month. 250, so that puts you at a total of 28,990. And that would be since the year 2007 or 8, does it tell you up there? Um, On the title, does it tell you how many? What? It doesn't, huh? Tell you the year since. Uh, not on the top, no. Okay. Uh, on one of your old sheets, it should. Um... And how many dollars would you say? I would say that's since the year 2007. Would you kindly put that up there? And how many dollars? Okay, the dollars weren't so bad. How many dollars last month? A thousand. So November was a thousand. September was 1,500. Wait, I think. Yes, 1,500 okay. would be... A good estimate. We got some weird math going on here. Oh, wait, no, you... Hmm. What? You wrote 7,000 last month. Oh. Oh, dear. Can you correct it? 
it might not be wrong. We will be finished the end of the month within five minutes. Wait, uh, you might not necessarily... Okay, what on earth is going on here? Because you had... We had $57,000 written as of November, and then you covered it up with a paper that says you spent $243,000. And I have no idea what that means. A like, correction? It's, I mean, it doesn't seem correction? like, it doesn't seem like a correction. It seems like it, it, it must just, be a correction. it's confusing to me, because, it must be a correction, honey. Because why would you, why would you jump from $48,000, which is a pretty reasonable amount to spend since 2007, up to $247,000? That's a jump of almost $200,000. That's like, you haven't even made all that much money in 10 years. Um. Uh. Would you look at it and see if there's a correction and a mistake in a correction? It's it's just a piece of paper that you wrote all these numbers on, written over. Which one is right? I I mean. Do you have anything older than this one? Oh yeah, you do. Okay. See, you had, I have no idea what's right, because... Usually you can find my mistakes. So, as of September of 2016, apparently you had 110000 And then apparently as of September of 26, also September of 2016, you had 231000 I have no idea what's right. That's also, I mean, since that's also, that's like impossible for it to be that high. Since 2007, that's like all of the money that you've made, like, could have potentially gotten in that amount of time. In 10 years, like, I, like, I mean, that's if every single dollar you ever made ever in that time span went into it then that might be possible. Well, are these figures wrong back here? I, I just can't tell which ones are right. Like, I mean, uh, I mean, I understand why you would write, like, why it would be 7K, because, like, I, you know, like, you were paying ahead of time and all that, but, like. What does the old sheet say, how much was spent? So, under this. How much did that spend? Well, 57000 But that doesn't line up with anything that we have earlier going on. And what's the corrected one say? 254000 Well, 247000 Austin, are you sure? Because I'm let's look, yeah. at these, I mean, look at these old ones. So, so here's... Here, let's go back. See, all right. So we'll keep this in order. So this is late 2016. So you had 232,000 written in there. Um, That's how I remember it. 232,000. You did. Um, hmm. So August 2008. August 2008. No more Dolan. Yes. Hours and dollars for September, October, November 2008. Yep. I was through suing Cablevision at that time. Uh, three thirty. Here you have uh, 2016 up to September, you had 110,000 written. Here is 2015, you had 100,000 approximately. So in 2015, you were supposed to be at a, in the high 90s to low 100,000s. Um, Even though it's ESP, error someplace. So the error, well, maybe, maybe what you did was 
On the back of this sheet, it has stuff about no more Dolan in August 2008. That's right. So maybe you added a big, so you added like a large number of hours from something to, to the 109,000 that we had in 2015. So this looks like it's math. You were trying to figure out how much money you spent. But I started out again zero, didn't I, after Dolan? I, I don't know. Um, so you had 109, then you added 55,000 for some reason. And then you added an additional uh, large number of money. Well, so you added 55,749. Then there's, let's see, the 1972 to 1993, you had $2,000 written. And then you added the 55000 again to get 221000 Hmm. I remember 255000 at being the amount spent. I mean... If you were if if this is if this is part of a correction that you did to catch you up with old expenses that you had, then then we can keep going with this, and that's not a big deal. I was just really confused because there's like conflicting amounts here, but then I found this on the back. And this looks like you were adding okay. like other lawsuits, like seventies to nineties, you know, all so this. So will and you that. will you accept how much was it last month? Fifteen hundred. So it was at se you had seven thousand last month. But that's because you, it was all that that paying ahead of time for a bunch of museum related. Yes, stuff. that's right. Uh huh. So, what would you say that this month was? This month was less by about uh, by about six thousand. So, so it was about a thousand. So it'll be about six thousand. No, it was it six thousand total. Yes. So you spent thirteen thousand dollars on the museum in the last two months. Thirteen, yes. Oh, that's a, wow. Uh, okay. We should probably slow down a little bit, but all right. All right, so. Well, Austin, the, the total spent on the museum future is 4000 3500 actually. How did you spend so much on it then? Uh, or are you just like compiling old expenditures? That no, you had? I was helping Gregory get on his feet. Oh, okay, all right. And then that is just... And I paid him thirty five hundred. Yeah. And I say, Gregory, uh, he would want, he would need something, and I would say, Gregory, I will pay you in advance for help on the museum. But. And I'll give it to you now. Okay. And then, and then, you're going to take care of the museum on such and such. Yes. Wait, wait. So. And he understands. Wait, that's that. that's thirty five hundred. That's yes, like thirty five hundred. A third of thirteen thousand. That's like. Well then, uh, his his non-employee compensation is nine thousand. Serious? You you only spent seven hundred on NEC in uh, in. Well, that's what is for no his for lifetime. Are you sure this wasn't one thousand here, in in November? Would that make it right? Or have you never added? I don't really know. Either way, I wrote something wrong. Like. Okay. Nine thousand is what he's been paid since two thousand six. Oh, so were you just like catching up with how much you he's been paid ever? Like, mm -hmm. okay, all right, all right. I think I think that makes a little bit more sense to me. Okay, I had to I wrote some stuff down. So th those numbers were so high because they were accounting for all of his old payment, right? Oh, okay. Is, th is that true? Is that the truth? Or, or, because I'm just trying to guess how the numbers got so high in a single month period. No, I don't think that's true. Well, we'll, we'll come back to that once the dry, once that stuff dries. Um, here, uh, let me keep that, let that dry for a bit. Let me take a look at the list and let's go through and see what stuff we've got. What, what are we doing here? I'm letting that dry and I'm going to go through the list while we do that. All right, so descriptions we still need to do. Sharing, Facebook, Twitter, all that we did, right? Yeah. Read ZTE, did we do that? 
Yep. Um, scrutinize all the apps on the ZTE. We did Getting that. Rid of them. Yep, did that. LG, we did not get to do that yet. Feed the animals, I did. Beans and stuff, I did. Yeah, um, SD you. card will not. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, SD card not operating the JVC. I did. Yes, you did that. Um, read this. Read the December 29th through 31st, 2016. Excuse um, me. So the thing where oh, I you read to you that. from the, the old you did one. that. Yes. It took a long time. Um, it happened in uh, 2016, 29, 30, and 31 December. Upload the jokes. That's good. That's right? done. Um, um, let's see. We did not get to funeral stuff. We didn't get to clean yet. Um, synopsize compassion over killing on yeah. TV. Yeah, that's yep, still got to get. That. That's still got to get done. And then send the money. That that'll only take a little bit. Clean house. Can you read HP to Glenn with Wi-Fi off LG? Question. You know, oh, you know, we haven't done the descriptions yet. Yeah, we, we haven't. Uh, what Austin did, he, we, uh, the people move out, and we didn't have any more Wi-Fi. So Austin took the Wi-Fi off of the LG Android telephone. All right. And he made his uploads. Um. And so now we have to do the description and share it with... Facebook and Twitter. Okay. okay. Uh, scrutinize. Oh, yeah, we did that. So we got to do going through the apps on the LG is something we got to do. We got to do descriptions. Uh, in mail. That's up in the up in the mailbox. Okay. Uh, what you could do is you could write out my receipt while I go get the in mail. I could. We'll do that in a minute or two. Um, okay. So could be that. Would you hand me a card from the bottom drawer? Yeah, sure. You you have card receipts, right? You're yes, yes. Um. So funeral we got to do, clean house we got to do, passion over killing, t money and TV we got to do. Can you so something off Wi-Fi on the LG? What's that supposed to mean? Well, what was I asking you? Well, I don't know what that is anymore. Read it to me, please. Can you read HP to Glenn with oh, Wi-Fi? Oh, yes. Are you, do you mean That like... was just a trinket. I mean, you don't have to do that. Okay. I wanted to know if you could read the Hewlett Packard getting your Wi-Fi from the LG. Oh, no. I tried to do that, and I could, and you're, neither of your phones are capable of doing that, as okay, far as I would can you, tell. Okay, would you put a cross on that and check it off? Okay. Is your phone more expensive than mine? Yeah, if you're... Uh, Yes, it is. So the yes, at, it is. at market value, yes. What we didn't pay anything for it though, because of our the plan, our plan, and it probably is not currently worth much more because it's an old. My phone is three years old, and your ZTE is only one year old. So like that does make a difference. So they're probably vaguely comparable at this okay. point. Okay. So a the answer is no. Um, should I get a $300 Samsung Galaxy? You said... I mean, I don't think you need to, but if you want to, you're free to. You know? Okay. Like, I mean, I, as long as you have enough money... What do you think, folks? Um, you know, if you want to get one, then, like, you know, go for it. It's your phone, like, and... And you will, like, you don't need to get one too soon, but the fact that the ZTE is busted enough to where you can't use an SD card in it is... You really issue. think it is broken? I think that it's a hardware issue. I either that, or that when whoever was popping out the thing to try to put in a new one was too rough with it. It's or didn't of, know what to do. It's one of those. I, those are the things. Okay, I'm so about. check that off. End of month. That's done. And say blank check. What? Say blank check. What? Does the blank check? Is that what this says? Or black something? Or May I see it? Number 20, well, it's supposed to be 23, but it says 26. Very last one. Question mark. Okay, put a question mark next to it. All right. So, of the things we had, the, I'm going to go get the in-mail. So, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six that we didn't do of the twenty-three. Cool. So that's, that's pretty good. All right. Well, it is. You didn't get her until one thirty. All right. And what time is it now, dear? Um. 5.30, so I do really need to get going. Okay, so four hours, huh? Yes, so okay, I will, you write up my receipt, I'm going to fill out my little chart, I'm going to go get the in-mail, and then I'm going to get headed out. Received from Glendora $40? Yes, please. And thank you, by the way. Thank you. Feed Animals, uh, 2016 blog, uh, end of month, okay, so. advice. Anything else? Um, I, don't, I can't think of anything. Alright, um, let me go grab that mail, or I'll send it, I'll send it real quick now. Uh, what do you have for change? I have um, a decent amount of change, actually. Okay, so it's 12, 31, 17. Do you want 100? I could take one if you don't have anything else. Yes, take a hundred. Cool. I'm putting my receipt in my thing. All right. Let me... So I so I got a couple of stacks. Year sheets, month of December, to do list. Um, this is the all of the other findings. So. Where is he going? Huh? To the mailbox. You're going to the mailbox? Yep. I'm running up there. Come back down. Put on some gloves, please. Um, it's a, it's alright. Uh, like, I'll just keep my hands in my pockets. The, the reason why they got so cold before is because I was using them to, um, yeah. to, like, open stuff up and rough. all that. It was rough stuff. It was rough. <laughs> it was rough stuff. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with bonds that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together. There is only one king, that's why we all can sing. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together. I think Austin is 24 years old. He has been graduated from Northeastern University, a five-year co-op college, and now he is doing work in psychology research. His aim is to uh, receive a fellowship to get his PhD in psychology. He does not want to stop for a master's. And he's applied to uh, 
I think, nine graduate schools, all west of the Mississippi except Duke. And uh, he will be hearing from them soon if they want to interview him. If he gets in, he'll be very, very happy. If he doesn't, he'll stay out a year and continue to try to do research. All right. And they're going to publish an, ad, uh, an article on uh, their, uh, what was it, on the, uh, what were those figures? Hmm? Um. The results, those figures, you're going to pr publish an article on the... Yeah, so we're doing, um, in a nutshell, we're doing an analysis of the differences in how um, physiology hardware, like stuff that measures your heart rate and your movement, um, when it presents data, it chunks it into groups that are like by different amounts of time, like one second or five seconds. So like when you're like, okay, I want to look at, uh, when I want to look at the data from this kid's uh, you know, session that we did, I'm going to look at it in five second chunks, or like I'm going to look at it in 10 second chunks. And you actually get different uh, answers depending on like which chunk you use. So we're doing an analysis of the differences between your like your final data depending on which chunk you use. So it's more mathematical than it is theoretical. But it's invaluable information. Yeah. It's going to be published, and his name is going to be on the report, and that will help him get into graduate school. I hope so. Give me 60, please. Thank you. All right. So I will uh, see you on Wednesday. What do I do with this, honey? This is your in-mail. What is the in-mail? Uh, Lucent. Lucent. Um, American International. College. You got something from San Diego, but no. That's return Lynn address. Harper. Uh, Gannett. And. Oh, that's Frankie Franklin. There's your check. Look at how hard you worked to earn that check. And some sort of charity thing. Charity what? A calendar? Know. Yeah. Anyway, I do need to run. Okay. I'll see you right. uh, Wednesday at what time? Uh, the, the plan as of now is at 1 p.m. at no, Kinderhook Bank. No, you're, you're going to meet me at 1 p.m. at the Kinder bank. Bank, yes. The, the one in the Kinderhook branch. Okay. Austin, thank you for helping me so much. Yeah, sure thing. I'll check in with you if there's going to be any issues with Wednesday in terms of getting a ride or the car or anything, okay? Well, Aust uh, Gregory will be here. Gregory can give you a ride. He can give you a yeah. ride here and he can give you a ride home. I'll, uh, I'll check in with you. You can He can meet you at the bank, give you a ride here, and then give you a ride home. Well, I mean, if I, I would need to get to the bank. The yeah, I understand place. that. Yes. Well, we'll, we'll, I'll check in with you if I need that, if I need a ride at all, okay? Which way? Uh, it would be always if I needed a ride. If you need a ride to the bank, you'll get to the bank okay. No, yeah, but I, need, I would need to get there with it. Never mind. I'll, I, I, as of now... We will assume that I have access to the car and that it won't be a problem. And if there's any changes in that, I will check in with you, okay? Thanks again. Thanks again, Austin. Yeah, not a problem. Have a good evening. And God be with you, honey.